We are live. My name is David, and uh, I'm with Yoko. And uh, what we're going to do in this video is uh, highlight some of the uses of technology um, that can make conferences more interactive and inclusive. Uh, hopefully, by highlighting how technology was used to present the 21st Century Learning Conference, Hong Kong, um, these good practices can be applied to other conferences. So, as I was uh, showing Yoko, um, the 21st Century Learning Conference, uh, Hong Kong, had its own uh, Twitter uh, hashtag. And so people who use this hashtag could communicate with each other. And they could put up their comments as well as their own content, the content that they've created. So a good thing about using technology is that people can even create more content and more information about the conference. And we can see that people can talk to each other. So Mr. DNHK is talking to uh, two other people, and this person is talking to another person. And so uh, this is a great way to communicate, whether you're actually at the conference or you're a thousand miles away. Okay. And so uh, another interesting thing about this conference is that a lot of the content is available online. Um, it's amazing what a video camera in a room can do. And so we see that all the keynotes were posted online. And a lot of these seminars were also uh, posted online. So people were giving workshops mm -hmm. and seminars, and they were able to post their materials online. Okay. In addition, uh, let's see if there are any photos from the conference. Okay. So there are some photos from the conference. Wow, lots and lots of photos from the conference. And this is another node for interactivity here, discussion. So not only can people discuss things here on Twitter, they can discuss things even here on a, a forum on the web page. Um, individuals, again, can create their own content um, here by creating their own blogs. And uh, maybe, is this a bit much? No, no, okay. it's okay, but I'm just amazed. Yeah, this is. Yes. Yeah, we are live. Uh, where is the camera? Uh, the camera is here. I will show you in, in, in one minute. So um, this is multi-modal. Uh, uh, there's a lot of multimedia in the presentation of this conference online. There is also an, a, another website um, that provided information about uh, the keynote speakers, different strands, etc. So this is more informative. It's less interactive. It's more of a static page just about the conference. And then on this uh, social network, this is a lot like Facebook. This is where people interact. All right. And oh, then the on yes. the spot or yes. after the conference? Uh, during the conference, before the conference, and after the conference, there's a lot of interaction here. Mm -hmm. People, in fact, have their own pages. So people can um, create their own content. So this guy, Richard Pang, he added a blog post. Okay, so that was about a year ago. So this is what happens when you add social network features, microblogging features to a conference. You get content and even more content. Does it mean that anyone can get in and visit yeah. here? There are privacy settings, so only certain people can get in here. Mm -hmm. uh, likewise, you can set it so that anyone can access this. Mm -hmm. On Twitter, anyone can access these tweets. Mm -hmm. This website can be accessed by anyone or no one. It depends on the settings. So this is how technology, again, can create greater interactivity and inclusion for a